Hello everyone, I guess Jen, hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day and today we are here with a video on what to do in RuneScape if you're feeling a bit bored. This is going to be aimed towards like medium to higher levels, but I think the advice kind of fits for everyone. Early on, there's so much to explore that, I, you know, it's kind of more just a general question of what you want to do. Later on, it's a bit more niche and a bit harder to find, you know, what to do if you're feeling like you're in a rut. Definitely been in this spot before myself, as I'm sure plenty of other people have, so I'll share my experiences on it and how I try to get out of it, what methods I use. So I'll kind of have two different approaches to this. Either you need to really, like, focus on a goal that is going to be fulfilling, or you need to change up your gameplay style and maybe have a bit more fun. And I think that typically you're either going to fall in one of those two camps if you're feeling a bit bored of the game. So one thing that I recommend to most everyone, and if you haven't tried that yet, I would definitely recommend Slayer. I think it is a great skill that can kind of help you set your sights on what is going to be good for your account overall. It will help you gain your combat stats while you're doing it, so it's kind of more fulfilling than most skills in that sense. It is very slow, but you also kind of get set up for bossing by getting your levels up and by unlocking new monsters. You're on a very good trajectory going forward, so I think that's Slayer is something that is good to look at if you're kind of feeling a bit lost. More so in the med game probably. If you're already at the late game stages, you, you know what Slayer is. But during the med game, it definitely unlocks a lot of great money makers that'll be good for you even into the late game. So I am a big fan, big proponent of Slayer. Most people know that. Um, but maybe you're someone that's been doing a bit too much of Slayer and you need to move on to something else. So we'll get to something else. And that something else is a quest cape. I think that this is one of the... <laughs> I guess I just said Slayer's fulfilling. It's fulfilling in the sense that it gets you more cash, which if that's kind of your goal, that's cool. Questing is more fulfilling in the sense that you complete a, like all the storylines. You get to experience as much of the game as possible, essentially kind of learning all of the lore if you want to. If not, you can speed run the quest and just unlock tons of content. That's really the main part. Quests unlock so many different things that are beneficial to your account. It is absurd. Some of them are tedious, they're, you know, gonna be something you remember because of how annoying or hard they were, and some of them will be a bit more fun and enjoyable. So it's really a taste of, you know, everything, a little bit of a grind, a little bit easy. Getting towards those final quests for the quest cape definitely kind of tests your ability in-game, and I think that I've always looked at people that have quest capes kind of early as people that played the game the right way and that, you know, probably have a better, more fulfilled account, so... I'm always kind of jealous of it. Personally, I'm someone that puts off the quest cape for a while, but if I was bored, it definitely is a way to just unlock more stuff to try while also enjoying some form of story and, you know, maybe having fun while you're at it if you're someone that's into quests as well. So the quest cape's another great thing to set your sights on if you kind of need something to gain your focus. If you're looking for something along the lines of questing, but not all the story to it, then achievement diaries are probably right up your alley. They are along the same line of quest uh, these are city based achievements that you can complete and they will allow you to gain like ease of access abilities for the rest of the game so it will further improve your efficiency in many regards of the game while also kind of allowing you to learn more about the game and what different cities have to offer you achievement diaries are great because there's easy med hard and elite there's something for everyone obviously the higher you go the more rewarding they're going to be and the better that they will set you up for the rest of your account but at the end of the day everyone should have something to set their eyes on and if you start looking into the rewards and whatnot you can definitely set your eyes on some things that may be more useful for you i have a video on me ranking achievement diaries by how useful they are essentially and how much i enjoy them if you guys want to check that out link will be down below there will be an annotation as well definitely a nice thing to check out if you're not really sure which ones are worthwhile because there are some that are really really good and there are some that are basically useless so you want to be on the right track there but overall achievement diaries are a great place to be personally again a lot like quest i usually put them off too long but at the end of the day if you want to play for a while and you want to make your account be pretty efficient then you're gonna end up be doing these so you may as well if you're feeling a bit bored and then one for, I guess, more of the high level folk, but you can kill some bosses at med level too. And that's just setting goals for yourself with bossing. Whether that be trying different bosses that you haven't before. Again, another video plug, I have a bossing ladder video, which, you know, one of my most viewed videos, I really did enjoy making that. And basically it's just kind of like where I would start at bossing and kind of what the end game of bossing is and every step in between, kind of getting a scale of how easy or hard certain bosses are. So definitely recommend that. Trying out new bosses is 
always really fun and enjoyable. Learning different mechanics, going on, you know, troops with your friends as well is, you know, definitely a lot of fun. So bossing, I, I just enjoy it so much. On top of trying new bosses that you haven't tried before, maybe you want to, you know, try the same old boss over and over and over. And if you want to, you can grind for pets if you're into that. That's kind of more of just a, a very long game approach to it. But, you know, even if you're going to be grinding something, it's nice to be able to set your sights on something long term like that so you don't get caught up in the the kill to kill monotony i guess but in addition to pets one of the most important i think is setting armor goals for yourself so basically whatever your bank looks like at the moment there's obviously gear upgrades that you would like to get so you know you set a few goals for yourself you try to build up maybe a loot tab that can afford whatever that goal is that you have of yours and that is definitely a rewarding um, achievement in my opinion and something that will help you see a light at the end of the tunnel if you know what you're working towards it's i think easier to work towards that than if you're just working 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 towards something that you don't have an idea of what it is so really bosses are great whether that be trying something new or setting your sights on something aspirational i think they're both very good ways to go personally it's something i really enjoy the game so i'm a big fan and then along the lines of bossing but not necessarily in the same vein feel free to join a clan chat join a clan or a friends chat friends chats I guess technically you're probably just a bit more social than a clan, which may be more of a group activity based thing. I have a friends chat, which is small exp lamp. If you guys want to join it, feel free. There is some bossing that goes on there, but there are tons of different clans essentially for everything. Some will give you more of what you want than others, but just that. If you're someone that's more social, maybe you join more of a social clan where you just kind of talk a little bit more and, you know, enjoy your gameplay together. Maybe you want a clan that does specifically just bossing and there's tons of high level clans for that. Maybe you want a clan that's more into quest or more into skilling i'm sure you can find those pking there's just different friends chats different clans for everything if you're feeling a bit bored you know try to try to socialize this is an mmo there's lots of different people you can you can have a good old time and i think that that's definitely a a route about it which people don't try enough because naturally they just play the game they don't think about you know just making friends and going doing stuff with friends sometimes but that's fun that's a lot of what the enjoyment of the game used to be and that's what i'm going to get to in this final point and kind of along the same lines with the friends chat and that's just getting back to the basics getting back to what's fun and naturally enjoyable about the game what entices mostly i think to runescape is the fact that you can play with your friends you can play with tons of other people it feels like a group experience you're having a good time even if people play iron man and stuff like that it's still very very nice to just see tons of other people running about the game doing what they're doing and just having fun and so if you're not having fun with any of what i just described and maybe there's even more things that you thought of and you, you just can't do it I've always liked messing around in mini games, whether that be Clan Wars, Castle Wars, Soul Wars, any of those wars. Soul Wars will be coming out in the future. Mini games are just such a, a fundamental block of what I used to play when I was a kid. I could just remember being in Castle Wars just like late into the night, just doing nothing essentially. But it was so much fun because I'm just running around killing people and having a good time, like I said, with a communal experience like before. And if you're really bored by the game, just forget about the grind, forget about the the XP, the GP that you gotta earn, because you don't. It doesn't matter. You can go play some games of whatever mini game you enjoy and just have a good time doing it. There's even more mini games like Pest Control, Barbarian Assault, Last Man Standing, and along with Last Man Standing, you could just do PKing. Essentially, what I would recommend is if you aren't having any fun with a certain grind, then give up on the grinds. Everyone feels like they should be doing some sort of grind. Let that all go and just go have fun. Go play the game in certain ways, and ultimately, if that still isn't doing it for you, if you're not having fun, you know, in a group scenario, if you're not having fun with mini games, you're not having fun with whatever goals you have, that's fine. I think that people that are currently playing RuneScape have been playing for a while. <laughs> I dare to say. So if you're not enjoying the game, that's fine. Some people can do something for this long and not enjoy it certain times. Breaks are needed if you're not enjoying it because ultimately if that joy does come back, if that will to grind it just starts igniting again, you always have it to come back to. And final point of the video, if you're not having fun and you're looking for something to do in game, don't go to the duel arena. Oh my god. <laughs> everyone wants to but man that's just where people that are bored go to lose
lose their bank so then they can make their bank back to not be bored. If you figure that out, then you're not enticed. Because no matter how much money you make at the Duel Arena, you can tell yourself it, but you're probably not going to be satisfied. And at the end of the day, you'll probably just end up bored and broke, so I just don't. And then real quick before the outro, alts are actually pretty decent. That's where you create another account to play while you're doing something on your first one. Typically that would mean you're just bored of whatever grind you're doing. Maybe you're doing some sort of skilling grind that isn't that fun and you just want an outlet to still play RuneScape. That's a great way to go about it and would highly recommend. But yeah, that's going to be it for me today. If you guys have any uh, ideas you'd like to share in regards to how you try to find enjoyment in the game, if maybe you've been feeling a bit burnt, let me and others know down below in the comments. Would love to read them. But with that said, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like. If you guys want to see more content like that as soon as it goes live, make sure to subscribe. And with that said, hopefully you guys have a wonderful day and uh, peace.